Hey guys, so, um, sorry if I sound like this because, like, it's too low. Okay, there we go. Um, hi, I'm back on YouTube for maybe a couple times. I don't know. Um, I'm not planning on making videos, like, on a regular schedule basis, but if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't, you know? That's how it goes. Um, so I just thought today that I'd, I got some new MAC yesterday. I got two new MAC shadows. I got, a uh, Haunting. It's, like, the new... There's like a new little set of line thing. I don't like exactly know what it's called. This one's called Off the Page. And it's like this little, there's like four, there's eight colors in this line. And I just thought these two colors were really good. Um, I might go back and get two other colors that I liked, but I'm not sure yet. So the look that I'm going to do today is the look I usually do every single day that I wear stuff. <laughs> Which is a really easy look. Um, all you do need is two shadows and mascara, eyeliner, and then if you use anything on your face, like uh, cover up or anything like that, then that. It's very easy and it's fast and not time consuming. So as you can see, I already have eyeliner and mascara on. It's because I've already been out today and I didn't have time to do my makeup. So quickly, I just do this under my eye. And then a little bit over here. And then if you can't find any other blemishes anywhere, which I don't, because I'm down here a little bit. I don't know what this song is. It's very scaring me. <laughs> so then you just kind of eye blend it in with my finger. It's no big deal to me. Come on your chin. I just want to get the eye like so. Um, look at that. And then you kind of get that like fresh look under your eye. Um, you can't really see. It's like I'm in a shadow. There we go. Yeah, it's not looking at difference. But anyways. Um, okay, and then after that, if you take your if you want to take your concealer or your I use powder, but I just have a lot of powder left in this brush and I don't need that much, so I'm just gonna do that. And this leftover is fine. Okay, and then you take um applicator brush like for your eyeshadow and just put it on. Sometimes I wet my brush but I usually wet it after I put it in the shadow or else it just gets really gross in the palette. Um, it just helps it kind of stick on more. So this is going to be very, a very toned down look for me. I can't see my mirror because uh, what should I call it? This thing is in the way. Okay, so it kind of looks really bright on the camera. Um, okay, so I just do that. From the other eye. There we go, my goodness. Like that. <laughs> um, just put it on. As much as you want, as dark and bright as you want. Um, sometimes the darker the better, because once you put the white on after, um, it kind of doesn't work. It's good. So you can kind of see where my eyeliner marks are still, so that's a good thing, because that's exactly where I want it. Okay, so we've got that done. Kind of clean up the edges of it if you spilt them anywhere. Okay, and then you take your white. This is my white. It's our Deans. It's from our Deans. I love I take this blending brush. Put a little bit of white on it. I start, okay. This is how I do it. Other people might do it differently, but I start. Close my eye and put out the crease and then go back. Like that just a couple times. I put it in the brush a little bit and then I tap it like that. So there's a lot of white. Like that. Like this. So I'm trying to make this like perfect so I don't screw up. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it to the other side. And it's like a shiny white. So you get that kind of like that shine in your, the crease of your eye. It's the word, crease of your eye, yeah. And you go with, don't go any farther than the half mark of your eyelid with the white. Because you still want, like, so you go back and you kind of, like, brush off the excess. I just brush it off on the side of my thing. And then you just kind of blend it in, brush it off, and blend it in. Now, this is kind of like a bright look for your eye. It's good for brown eyes, I think. I like it on brown eyes, actually. I like it a lot. It kind of brings out your eye a bit. 
Then if you need to, you can touch it up with the blue, which I'm going to do. Just with that other half. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to blend it in again. I'm just going to make this darker. Because it kind of got a little bit too light. And then once you have, like, another shadow on it, it helps it get darker. Which is good. Okay, and then just blend it so it doesn't look so whiny. Like this. Okay. That, how much time do I have? I have, like, ten minutes. <laughs> I'm going to be done in, like, five. Okay. And then... We take your eyeliner, which is this Annabelle from Walmart. I don't use that much like eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this in there. Let's see if it works. Um, I stretch my eye out just because it's really easy. It's easier for me to get my liner on. Cause I'm not good if I just do it like that. I can't. I'm not good at drawing straight lines. That. Pretty good. That's pretty good actually. Okay, and on the side, it's just gonna be really bad. Just like this. And just make sure they match, obviously. Like that. And then, um, take your mascara, doesn't matter what, and then apply it. Make sure you cover all of the, the blue that got into your eyeshadow, eyelashes. I have to make sure of this because it already it was some, so I have to get rid of it. And then on the bottom. Now for my eyelash bottom eyelashes, I don't do them because it's clean. Because I like having that darkness right there. Which is natural darkness from the mascara. So I don't have to eyeline the bottom of my eyes. And then you get like a splotches, like there's splotches right there. I'll show you how to get rid of those if you don't know how. Sorry, my nose is edgy. Okay, so that's basically the look. Um, and to get rid of the, the things, you just take your tongue, that, put on the Q-tip, just kind of dot it away. If you have it on the, like on when there's one skin that has no shadow on it, you can wipe it like straight with their skin if you don't do that. Um, so basically, quickly what I used for this tutorial makeup thing. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Everyday school makeup maybe because it's what I use for school every day. Except different colors. So I use MAC Haunting or Dean's. It's, there's no name but it's like 9-A-E-H-E-O-0-99 I think. Yeah, 0 Um, then I used Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline. This is CoverGirl.